Hey guys, so welcome to a new YouTube video. I know that I have been gone forever, but I am back and I'm feeling 1000% better. So let's tune into another video. If you don't know me, my name is a Life with Shauna. Want it all now. Wanna get it to the top, I wanna find out. To come to you guys and let you guys know about a few productivity books that I absolutely enjoy, books that I actually really enjoy reading. And I wanted to just take a deep dive into some of the books that I absolutely didn't know what I would do without if I have not read them already. So the first book that I wanted to like kind of deep dive into is gonna be this first book. This is called The Mountain. The Mountain is You by Brianna West. Her books are absolutely amazing. When I sit down and I like read this book, it actually just really teaches us the concept of self-sabotage, meaning that we're in this world to do one thing, but if you continuously are led on the right path and you are giving good advice, you are you are learning by your surroundings and you keep on, you know, taking risks, calculated risks that you know is not going to be in your best interest. This, this is literally this book literally helps you realize that concept concept and want to better yourself and realize it gives you actionable steps on also how to improve and how to get better so this is why I really love this book I feel like I could say so much more about it but I just love it so much everything about it has really transformed my outlook on life and really made me see that hey take a slap in the mirror this is what you should be doing this book right here that I absolutely love this is called the eat your frog book this book right here if you want to like like i said increase your productivity get your mind right gain order i realized that i read this book at least three four of my times and every time i read it i feel like i find something new that i've actually never learned before because it teaches you about organization staying on schedule getting your life together like all the way 1000 percent and fast it teaches you actionable steps on how to achieve your goals how to create goals how to list out your goals how to prioritize them within your daily life it literally teaches the whole skill and i found myself going back to this book at least three four times out of the year just to kind of refresh and get a good you know thought on things like you can tell i've been inside this book because i've highlighted so many stuff and so many gems that i found in there but it's a really good one. Um, my next book that I would say is actually awesome. If you're looking to quit your nine to five and you're looking to, um, you know, work from anywhere in the world and only work four hours per week, this book right here is an absolute gem as well. This is what the whole concept is about: getting away, doing your nine to five, and living your best life. I really love this book. So. If you guys have not actually checked this book out, definitely do yeah. that. Now, this next book, I absolutely love this book. I mean, oh my goodness. When I first like decided to go on my little hiatus journey and really just let God use me, I literally went through this book right here. This book is so let me tell you about it. It's called the Collective Works, um, the Collected Works of Florence Shovel Shin. Shin. What I really love about this book is that it really drops gems because real gems. And when I say real gems, she uses the Bible to get her word out to people and she interprets the book in a way that you can understand it for what it actually really means so if the book is saying and talking about you lack nothing god tells us you lack nothing and literally me just like getting into that mindset and getting into that thought process of you making sure that you can achieve your goals this book right here, I really love that it's called The Game of Life. Um, the Game of Life may not be exactly what you guys can remember of, but she has plenty of books. This book is the collected works of her, just herself, and her just having that all in there. So what it does for The Game of Life, um, so it actually allows you to read God's word and really get a better understanding she gives 
stories about people and things that's actually happened to them and how they overcame a lot of obstacles in life just by the way of changing the way that they think and she used words from the bible all of the words from the bible and has already kind of teaching us that god has already promised us so it really changes your outlook on life knowing that god got your back and you know whatever you want it's really already yours so this book i would say this is a must read if you don't read any of the books out of here definitely read this book like if you don't know you know now so this next book that i absolutely love this is called the lost iq this book i haven't actually just read it just yet but it has a lot of information in there as well i started to read it it is not your typical iq that it kind of refers to it refers to more your emotional intelligence mental intelligence um it really not like two plus two equals four not that kind of stuff more like it just gives you a different aspect of life like more of a your intelligence it has to do with emotional intelligence like if you see that would you do that does that make sense more common sense should i say so this is it right here it says seduce yourself with joy fall in love with your body by following your feelings following your emotions and then but uh this next book that i'm taking out think and grow rich your mama's grandma's mama's know about this book this book has been around for a very long time by napoleon hill this this one this particular book has been updated at, for the 21st century but this book has been around for a very long time so if you if you know that you know this book right here it really opened my eyes to manifestation and what exactly it means to manifest what it is that you want in this life so this book talks about willpower, increasing, you know, your wealth, increasing your mental um, toughness in your mind, and just overall, it really teaches you a lot about thinking and growing rich. So watch the way that you think. So this book right here increased my productivity because I realized that when you wake up every single day and you're wanting to do better for yourself, you're wanting to push past those boundaries, you obviously have to you think and grow rich if you want to achieve the goals that you were meant to achieve. Now this next book right here is called God Hears Her. I really love this book. This book I've actually been reading. I haven't read it so much but I have started reading it about the last year so when I purchased it and then maybe I found myself just diving into reading one devotion per day <clears throat> but what I found most about it is that sometimes you just need a time alone to kind of like reflect back on how life has been treating you um you know you just want to learn about different people's lives and what they've been through and other stuff that really helps them to get aligned and focus on god this book right here has really done that for me every every single devotion kind of gives you a point of view from another person's perspective of what they challenged and what they overcame to get where they are now and knowing that there's always a light at the tunnel for you and giving you that hope that you desire this book right here reminds you that god is that hope that you always have at the end of the tunnel and light the end of the tunnel kind of thing so this book is really good now this book right here this is called change your mind by rj spina if if you guys are into i know a lot of people are probably bad but i want to say that this book right here this book has really left me very productive because what it kind of talks about is about separating your mind from yourself like you are not yourself <laughs> i hope i'm seeing that right i always sound crazy but i'm telling you but this book right here it talks about mind body heart and soul and it's pretty much i'll tell you a little bit about the arthur because that's really why i bought it um i came across this youtube channel called brian scott and he interviewed him and i absolutely love brian scott he's actually amazing um to listen to for meditations and really just getting you know on that path of your purpose in life right in god so this book right here the arthur he actually was paraplegic from the waist down and after getting paraplegic he decided to heal himself from his thoughts from his mind from his thoughts and he literally talks about how he retrained his brain to do that so far this book is very 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 good it's a lot that you're learning and takes you through it but i really do love it honestly 
I'm getting there, I'm going to start incorporating some of the concepts that he has inside this book as well. But this one is definitely teaching you a complete way to how to stop doing a lot of stuff that you're probably doing to hold yourself back. Um, so that is actually it in all the books. So if you guys love these books, tell me what you think. If you guys love the books, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think. If you guys want more productivity tips like this, uh, please let me know if that's something that you want and let me know for sure um, you know, what else is next. So I'm back to be on here. If you guys...